Guess how much this cost me to make. I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, before I show y'all this, don't get mad. I know this product is controversial, but I couldn't help it. My main goal is for you to grow your hair. So whether that's with my products or other products that I suggest to you, it don't matter to me. Oh my goodness, this looks so beautiful. Beautiful painter. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, we're going to be doing something fun. Today, I'm going to be doing my complete wash day styling routine, everything for under $25. Actually, $24.80 to be exact. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because you guys know I've been doing a lot of reviews lately, especially with, you know, celebrities slash influencer hair care lines, and they do tend to be on the pricier side. And I've been seeing a lot in the comments that people are like, I really want to try this, but I can't afford it. Natural hair is so expensive. So today, I thought I would kind of structure a wash day routine in a way that is very affordable and something that can help you save coins but still allow you to grow your hair increase the health of your hair and just kind of make natural hair easier I guess <laughs> before we get started with this $25 wash day routine if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content and check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting some products to help promote growth all right guys Let's get into okay. it. So my hair is like two weeks old. I was like out of town last week, so I wasn't able to wash my hair. But this is the same twist out that I did for my TPH by Taraji review, which actually is one of, I think, the most affordable brands that I've reviewed so far. So that's cool if you want to go check that out. But I did do a hot oil treatment like two days ago. I was supposed to wash my hair yesterday, but just light didn't turn out like that. So I have this oil sitting in my hair. This is the oil from my hair care line, the Rosemary and Lavender Soothing Strengthen Oil. One of my favorites for a hot oil treatment. This is going to be perfect for making my wash day easier because my hair is pretty old. I took a little trip to Target and I spent like a good 30 to 45 minutes looking at all the products they had available on the market and just kind of doing my best to pick out products that I feel like will work. Now I will say this though, some of them might be a little bit controversial but we'll get into that later but I really just wanted to like get an actual hair care routine that I feel like will work for anybody and I feel like this can work on a wide variety of hair types just depending of course on your hair. But yeah, hopefully you, you guys like what I picked out. Okay, but first of all, can we like get into the growth of my hair? Still, I don't know why my hair has been growing so much since I've been wearing it out more often. I've always thought the opposite would happen, but I'm not mad at it. And the thing is, I just cut my hair a month ago, and I feel like it's already growing back so fast. All right, let's go ahead and wet my hair. It feels so good to put water on my hair. Y'all just don't understand. But I really got to rinse well to get all this oil out of my hair. Okay, and let me just put some disclaimers out there for just anybody that might have any concerns. Based on my experience as a business owner with somebody that, you know, formulates their own products, has to look at the cost of ingredients and all that good stuff, I do think that to some extent, products that might be a little bit more pricier might be that way because of the higher quality ingredients that they're using because ingredients that are higher quality cost more. I've had personal experience dealing with that when it comes to making my own products. So I don't think that every pricey product is like a scam or just a way to get more money. I do think a lot of them are like that because of how expensive the ingredients are because they're higher quality. But at the same time, I do think that you can get some affordable products that are decent quality and will do their job. Even if it's bare minimum, they will do what is needed for you to have a successful wash day routine and they won't affect your growth or anything like that. And so I just wanted to give people other options who don't want to spend like $100 on like hair products. If you, if you catch my drift. So the goal of this video is just to give you like a bare minimum routine that will do what needs to be done. So I didn't include any extra products that I personally like to use, any extra tools, anything like that. Just the basics of the basics, which is totally fine. You don't have to have an extra hair care routine. Okay, so first things first, of course, I feel like everybody needs a shampoo. So today we're gonna to be using this African Pride shampoo. Y'all know I prefer a hydrating shampoo, so this one is more on the moisturizing side. 
This cost me $5.99 and this is the family size. So 16 fluid ounces. So this will definitely last you a long time. And if you don't want the family size, you can definitely get it for cheaper. I personally feel like when it comes to shampoos, you don't need a super expensive shampoo. I feel like a lot of them work the same. Again, I feel like the difference in price between shampoos is just maybe the ingredients. But shampoos kind of do what they do. Now there are pricier shampoos and you could feel a difference between them but it's not huge enough to where you're like I have to spend $30 on a shampoo like it's not that deep. So we're gonna give this one a shot. Um, this is honey and coconut oil. Okay this is what it looks like just a regular shampoo. Nothing crazy. So I'm just gonna apply it to my hair. Okay so far I'm actually really liking this like it feels super hydrating so i'm not sure about the cleanse factor but i typically find that most moisturizing shampoos tend to also give you a decent clean y'all know like clarifying shampoos aren't really my thing because it just strips your hair too much and i'm not really product heavy even with wash and goes now that i've like learned how to get my hair to define naturally i don't need to use that much product so and y'all know normally i love to use my scalp massaging brush but we're not going to use it today because this isn't necessary do i think it makes things easier yes but it's not that big a deal if you don't have one. So we're not gonna use it today. We're just gonna use our fingers. The pads of our fingers are gonna work just fine. Again, we're trying to do a bare minimum wash day that will work and that's affordable. So I'm just gonna continue to, you know, go like this. Now I will say, I do think this shampoo could have a better lather, but it's okay. And by the way, this doesn't have any sulfates or anything in it either. So it's still like nice and healthy for your hair. I'm really trying to work it in though because again I want to get all that oil off of my hair from my hot oil treatment. And speaking of shampoos, I really cannot wait till mine drops. I'm so excited. We're like a month away from production. And like it's the closer we get to it, the more real it becomes. And I'm just like so happy. I am a little bit nervous though about changing the name because the way people will react, but I've changed the name before, so it's fine. I just think it's time to do something new. But like look how easily my hair is splitting though. So this is very hydrating. I like this. Let's see if we can get a good pull today. Mm, yay, okay. Now I do have to take a little more time to shampoo because of not having the scalp massaging brush, but it's okay, again, it's not that deep. Look, we got a good shampoo. Let's go ahead and rinse it out. Ooh, it's rinsing out so nice, wow. All right, other side. Wow, this is working out super easy and that oil is just coming right off. But I mean, if you've ever looked at the science of how soap actually cleans, soap has these like bubbles that like trap um, hydrophobic things like oil, which doesn't dissolve in water, doesn't into water. It will trap it and then when you rinse it out, it will take it with it as it goes. I explained that terribly, but I learned that when I was in med school. Or maybe biochem, I don't remember. But it's like, it just forms these bubbles that are resistant to water on the outside, but it will trap hydrophobic things on the inside and it just takes it with it so like dirt oil makeup all that that's why when you remove makeup you're typically using like something that has oil in it because it will help to trap that stuff and like bring it with you okay now moving on to our conditioner so we know that conditioner is supposed to detangle your hair and then you can also use a deep conditioner to help as a treatment to instill moisture so i find that in order to make this wash day affordable i kind of found a conditioner that can do both it gives you enough slip to detangle your hair but um it will kind of treat your hair a little bit okay before i show y'all this don't get mad i know this product is controversial but i couldn't help it i got the ozzy moist three minute miracle which is only 4.99 this used to be a huge staple for me before i got on social media and started trying other products this gives you so much slip and your hair feels so soft when you rinse it out and i honestly haven't found anything cheaper that will do the same thing i know some people are like a little skeptical about the ingredients and stuff like that. I personally have never had any issues. And honestly, since I started using it, they have changed their formula a little bit because now it is, it says on the back, sulfate paraben free with no dyes. I think this does contain silicones though. Silicones does help your hair get slip. So that's, yeah, it does have silicones in it. I don't know, I, I haven't had a problem with it. I think it's a great cheap alternative and it works. We're, we're gonna use this. And if you don't like this, that's fine. You can find another conditioner that will work. I'm just saying affordability wise, this is a really, really good option. Okay, first of all, can we pause? Look how just easily my hair is separating. Yeah, 
This conditioner, I mean, this shampoo was really hydrating. Oh my goodness. It feels soft, but you can also tell it feels clean. So I think it did a decent job of cleansing my hair while still maintaining that moisture. That could be from the hot oil treatment though, but I don't think so. My hair feels really, really nice and soft. All right, so we just take a section, squeeze some into my hand. You don't need a lot actually, and just apply the product. And I'm telling you, the slip is almost instant. Just give it 10 seconds of like massaging it into your hair. Especially make sure you don't forget the root. Like make sure the conditioner goes on your roots. Then we're going to detangle with my unbrush. Now I didn't include the unbrush in this cost because you technically don't need to use a detangling brush. You can finger detangle. I feel like this conditioner will give you enough slip to wear. Finger detangling really wouldn't be that bad. I do know it's going to take me longer to finger detangle my hair than use this brush. So I'm just going to use the brush. But you don't have to use the brush. I think the brush is like $18 to $20. But the thing is, it's a one-time purchase. So it's up to you. But I'm not going to include it because I don't think it's necessary. But as you can see, a couple passes. The hair is just super smooth. Like, it's crazy. Okay, it's been like three minutes. And, um... I'm already done with this whole section in the back. I'm telling you, this conditioner is just... I, I, I literally remember, like, using this so much. Like, almost every single wash day for years. And then, you know, you start social media. And you start trying to make content with other brands. And, you know, you just kind of try to diversify what you're doing. And so that's honestly why I stopped using this. It had nothing to do with the actual product. I just wanted to try different things. It's been a good, I want to say year, since I've used this conditioner, and it still hits the same. Like, I know that, for example, if I'm traveling somewhere or doing something and I need to detangle my hair, this is something that I would for sure grab off the shelf. Again, because it works so well, but it's just super affordable. And you can't beat the price, I'm sorry. Like, look at that. A couple of passes and we're done. Look at that. Okay, so one thing that... I think I should note about this product is it is a hair mask like it is something that is meant to be like a deep conditioner you leave it in your hair it does say three minute miracle so you only need to leave it in your hair for three minutes in order to get that treatment effect that you would from a deep conditioner but I personally feel like this shouldn't necessarily replace your deep conditioner I still feel like you should invest in a high quality deep conditioner that you use every now and again. So for example, if you're someone like me who's been washing their hair every single week, this is a good option on a regular basis. But I do think that every now and again, maybe every like two to three months, you can get an actual like deep conditioner, which will be about 10 to $15, depending on what you get. And actually let it sit in your hair with heat, you know, get that, you know, moisture and richness that you need from a deep conditioning treatment but i think just for regular use bare minimum use this is a great product just on the regular all right almost done and i think it's only been like seven minutes it hadn't even been 10 minutes yet slip makes a huge difference in how fast you're able to detangle your hair even if you're finger detangling it will make a world of a difference and i do like how and i've always liked how this conditioner Really does a good job of clumping my curls, which I forgot about. I'm going to show y'all after, like, I'm able to fully detangle this section, which will be in, like, two seconds. So, look. Do y'all see how I feel like it clumps my curls a little bit better than other conditioners? I mean, that doesn't really matter considering how I'm going to rinse it out and then apply a product to, like, style my hair. But I'm just saying, I've always liked how it did that. Okay, all done. Didn't really take any time at all. Let me take these clips out of my hair real quick. Like I said, you can leave it in for three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out because I have so much to film today. I don't have time to be waiting. But you can also be extra, you know, add oil like I typically do. Sit under a deep conditioning cap for 30 minutes. It will be just as beneficial. So you can kind of use this however you want to. I just think that this conditioner is kind of super versatile just for a regular basis. But again, I recommend doing like a deep conditioning treatment. And you can even do a DIY one if you want to save money. So it's not like you have to spend extra if you don't want to i'm freezing today i don't know why i'm so cold my apartment's literally like 74 degrees so yeah this it literally makes your hair feel like butter it's crazy one thing i will caution make sure you rinse all of this out because this is not meant to be a leave-in conditioner it does not feel good on the hair if you leave it in do not do that i've done that before years ago 
It makes your hair feel so weird. And no, make sure you thoroughly rinse it. Is this my hair feels so soft? Look at look at my fingers. Like who does that on thick type for hair? All right, let's do the back. My hair feels so soft. All right, let me get this shed hair out. This is how much came out, which I think is typical for me not washing my hair for two weeks. So regular shed hair. All right, so now I'm just gonna put my hair into a bun. Cause you know, I love to take me a little break in between the washing and the styling part. And look how easily the brush is still going through my hair with no product in it. Like kind of insane. Ooh, this industrial piercing, like, why, Lord? You know, I got this four years ago when I was 20, I guess almost five years ago, dang. I'm about to be 25 in like two months, that's crazy. Halfway through my 20s is insane. But anyways, I don't regret getting it, but I wouldn't get one now if I didn't have one, if that makes sense. I just feel like I grew out of the whole like piercing space. Um, that I was in when I was in my early 20s. I don't know. I'm just not into it anymore. Not saying I never get another piercing, but I guess right now I'm just not feeling it. Also, for some reason, I've been really struggling to put my hair into ponytails lately. Like, I just feel like I have too much hair. And so, it, it just, I can't do it right. I don't know. So, if you have any, like, suggestions about that, definitely let me know. I've tried those wraparound ponytails. They don't really work. So, if you have anything else... Help us to stay out. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna come back and then we're going to do the styling portion. All right, I'll see you guys after my break. Okay, you guys, I'm back after my break. It's been about an hour. I really didn't do anything. I just ate and um, edited a video and uploaded it of me trying this like whipped cream sunscreen thing. It came with a sunscreen and an air freshener. But honestly, it was really cool, so I would recommend checking that out. I didn't want to put my hair in the hair turban because I didn't want it to dry out too much because today we are doing a wash and go. I quickly been discovering that I think I prefer wash and goes out of all my natural hairstyles, which is insane because if you would have asked me this six months ago, I would have said that wash and goes are my least favorite hairstyle to do. So the tables really have turned. All right, so... I'm just gonna split my hair into some sections. I don't think I've done a wash and go. I think it's been like three weeks since I've done a wash and go. Yeah, the last wash and go I did was the one I did with the Eco Slay review that's up on my channel. That, again, was a very interesting review. <laughs> if you haven't watched that one, I suggest watching that one. And so I think because of what happened with that wash and go, I just like, I need a break. But I really missed it the past two weeks wearing twist outs. I didn't expect to, but I really, really did. Now let's get into the styling. I'm actually really excited to show y'all the products that I got. So first things first, whenever you do any style, wash and go twist out, whatever, you always need something that is hydrating, that is going to stay in your hair to help lock moisture into your hair, all that great stuff. So I picked up one of my, my favorite leave-ins that I was using for years. I still really, really love this. This is the leave-in from the Blueberry Bliss line. I think it's been like two years since I used this just because, again, I've just had so many other products to try. But this has always had a special place in my heart. It's super hydrating. It's super thick. It's super creamy. So this costs $12.49. So this is the most expensive product that I picked out today. Now, I personally feel like if you are going to invest in any product at a higher price, it will be the leave-in conditioners or the hair butters that you put in your hair because that's gonna help keep your hair hydrated and that's gonna reduce breakage and that's gonna help you retain length. So out of anything that you would spend your money on, this would be the one thing I'd be like, yeah, you can go a little bit pricier with this. And in fact, when I used to buy this product, they had it in an eight ounce bottle instead of a 12 ounce bottle and it was about the same price. So they made a bigger bottle now for the same price, which is technically cheaper. So I think that's a good thing. But y'all know I love my hair butter, but my hair butter is priced higher than this. And it's priced that way for a reason. It, it's supposed to be priced at this price, but you can go for something cheaper if you want. Y'all know I'm always transparent and though I love my hair care line, I'm proud of the products that I've made and everything like that. I understand that they're not affordable for everybody which is okay not everything's gonna please everybody my main goal is for you to grow your hair so whether that's with my products or other products that I suggest to you it don't matter to me my business is, is perfectly fine so no stress in it over here it's gonna take a good amount and this smells so good to me and I'm not really a, a big like blueberry person but this smells really good I'm tripping I did not even wet my hair hold up hold up hold up 
It really has been a minute since I've done wash and go. So I was like, you're not doing a twist out. Had to make sure it was working. My fault, my fault. I totally forgot. The one thing I don't miss about washing goes is how like you get soaked. Where's my towel? I need my towel. I'll just use this one right here on my lap because you know, products be plopping and everything. So, but just look how soft and defined my curls are. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and just detangle my hair. Um, I think this will make my washing goes better. I usually don't detangle my hair. It's pretty much detangled, but just to make sure. I challenge you to go watch my first wash and go video from like my whole series of doing wash and goes. I have a playlist and then compare it to now and just see if you see any growth because I do. I really do. And then for today's styler, we are going to be using some DIY flaxseed gel. I made this yesterday and I'm really excited to use it. All right, let's pause really quick so I can show y'all how to make this. Cause I already know y'all are gonna be trying to fight me in the comments if I did not show y'all, but it's literally only flax seeds and water. I'm gonna do three fourths cup of flax seeds and make a mess while I'm at it, of course. But you can use ground flax seeds if you want. I did whole flax seeds, I got this off of Amazon. I will put it in my storefront if you want the exact brand. I just think it's easier to strain, so. And I had to play around with this recipe a couple times, so just bear with me, cause I did eventually figure it out. So I'm gonna add my flax seeds to a pot, and then I'm gonna go in with three cups of water. So I did a one to two ratio of flax seeds to water. So then you're gonna let it come to a boil for about five to 10 minutes, and this is where it gets a little tricky. You really have to be careful with the consistency that you get because this will make or break how easy this is to deal with so this is way too thick you see it's clean to the flax seeds this is not cute so i did it again and i only did it for about six minutes this time and as you can see it's a lot looser but it still is slightly thick so you want it a little bit looser than this a little bit more liquidy trust me so once you're done i'm just gonna take this um pantyhose that I got from Target and I'm just going to cut off the leg and then slide it over my measuring cup and then I'm going to strain so this is the first batch as you can see it's way too thick and the reason why you don't want it this thick is because when you go to strain it the gel is not going to come out like first of all it's going to be way too hot for you to actually squeeze it but even then it's going to be very difficult to strain it because the gel has gotten so thick that it's clinging to the flax seeds so it's just it's just not going to come out so you don't want it to be this thick i left it on way too long so then my second batch was a lot looser but it still was slightly too thick but you can see the difference so i did go in with some chopsticks to make my life easier but as you can see the gel is coming out a little bit more easier than it did last time but it was still a struggle as you see i'm really struggling i would say i only got about half of the gel out of this mixture that i should have and then i was like struggling so hard i poked a hole in the pantyhose so yeah that was fun so then third time was a charm i got it a lot looser though it still is a little bit too thick so i would say only leave it to boil for five minutes but this came out so much easier it was a lot easier to strain and we were finally able to get enough of the flaxseed gel to actually work with so then i just poured it into this mason jar and as you can see it's still pretty warm so the consistency is loose but once you let it sit for a couple minutes and cool down completely, it does thicken up a lot. So yeah, that's it. Guess how much this cost me to make? I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, you got it? Comment it below. Pause the video and comment below how much you think this flaxy gel costs to make. You're, you're most likely going to be wrong, but that's okay. This cost me $1.33 to make all this. I've never used flaxy gel before, but I know it's a super cheap way to um, style your hair. So we're going to try it. Hopefully this gives me good definition. It seems watery, but at the same time it doesn't. Like it seems like it's going to give me hold. But let's see. I'm nervous though. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, wow. Like look at that definition. Okay. Let me add a little bit more to my roots. Okay, this is kind of difficult to apply. It's like flopping everywhere. But once you get it on the hair and work it in, it's nice. Okay, I'm going to split this section a little bit into a smaller one just to make sure all of my curls are equally defined. Because you know I have super small curls, so I'm like trying to, y'all see I'm like trying to grab it. It's very interesting to use. I just want to make sure all of my hair is coated. 
with it. Especially because we're not using any additional styler like a mousse or something to do our hair because we're trying to be as affordable as possible. So that means you just need to make sure that the styler that you do use is really good and is really coating everything and your curls are really defined. This looks really good though. Like, do y'all see this? This is really good, wow. I think I wanna do a video though, probably next week or the week after, and I wanna do finger coils because I've always been curious to see how finger coils will work on my hair. Cause I feel like it would just give me so much better definition. Okay, the only thing I am nervous about is I don't know how this is gonna feel on my hair once my hair dries, like if it's gonna give me hold. This is very watery. All right, so we've gotten to the point of the video. Y'all already know where I'm gonna shut up and finish applying these products to my hair. And then we're gonna come back um, once I'm done and just kind of see how it's looking and see what we're working with. Okay, you guys, all done applying the products. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the way that this flaxseed gel is applying to my hair. Now, it's probably one of the most difficult gels to apply to my hair. You saw in those clips, it kept like falling off of my hair. You really have to be cautious about really trying to massage it into your hair that way it actually gets onto your hair strand, otherwise it will just slide right off. But once I got it on my hair and was able to actually define my hair, I noticed my hair looks super shiny, it looks bouncy, it looks very defined. Like this defines just as well as any typical gel that I would use. I would say this is similar to like um, Eco Styler or like Extreme Gel with the way that it looks and the way that it feels once it's on the hair. This is a very watery gel, which again makes me extremely concerned that it's not going to give me any hold, but we'll see. Um, I know that the best way to like try to ensure you get hold is to dry your hair under a dryer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that for about three hours and then I'm going to come back and we're most likely going to diffuse the middle part of my hair, which will still be dry. And then we're going to stretch it and then we're going to see how it goes. But so far for a gel that only costs a dollar and 33 cents to make, I think we're doing pretty awesome. So, okay, so I'm going to come back after I finish sitting under the dryer. All right, you guys, I'm back. Um, I was sitting under the dryer for about 15 minutes, and my hair is about 60% dry. And honestly, I think I'm going to try something different than sitting under the dryer next time because my hair is so thick that even if I sat under that dryer for like two hours, the inside of my hair would still be wet just because my hair is so thick that the heat can't pass through all of my hair to get to the middle. So I'm thinking next time I might just try diffusing all of my hair from the beginning, but then the thing with that is, I got so much hair that I don't know if I wanna like do this for basically an hour. <laughs> like, I'm not sure, but I mean, I might try it. I feel like that might be a more efficient way to dry my hair. I think sitting under the dryer, it does dry the outside, but I just feel like it would go faster if I diffuse. So you might try that next time, but I am gonna go in with my diffuser and just diffuse the rest of my hair dry. 
hopefully this won't take longer than like 30 minutes i don't think it will take longer than 30 minutes but we're gonna see i'm literally just gonna do like this i'm gonna try not to disturb the curls i will say though the cast is there i think though when i sit under the dryer i naturally just get a cast because the gel just dries so quick so there is a cast it does feel a little bit softer than the other crunch that i'm used to but i'm kind of excited i want to see how it turns out so let's go ahead and diffuse mm -hmm. Okay, as predicted, it's been about, well, actually exactly 30 minutes, and my hair is like 99.9999% dry. I feel like, you know, five or six little curls that might be still a little bit damp, but honestly, at this point, I don't care. I'm hot. My face is all red. I'm kind of ready to go. So, now we are going to stretch my hair. Um, unfortunately, I do not know where the nozzle attachment for my Dyson is. I actually haven't used it in a couple months. I'm currently organizing my entire bathroom, so I might find it when I'm, like, finished with that. Or I might have to order a new one. But we're just going to go ahead and stretch my hair with my diffuser. I've done this before. I could use my Rev Air like normal. I just honestly don't feel like bringing that whole thing out and plugging it up when this is already right here. And I actually do like the results I get when I stretch my hair with the diffuser. So... It'll be fine. And I don't know if you can tell. Do you see like this little residue on my um, blow dryer? So this is kind of what the flaxseed gel looks like when it has dried. So it forms like a little cast. And I think that's why I'm getting the hole. final result of my wash and go and oh my goodness this looks so beautiful y'all those front two sections that y'all saw me part off i have not stretched them at all so i basically just stretched the back of my hair and it looks so nice so shiny the definition is there it is popping like I miss washing go so bad, y'all. Oh my goodness, my hair looks gorgeous. And this only cost me $25 to do. Okay, so let's just do a little recap. Starting off with the African Pride Moisture Shampoo. This was $5.99. Plus our Aussie Moist 3-Minute Miracle, which was $4.99. Our Blueberryless Leave-In Conditioner, which is $12.49, and that's the most expensive product we have. And then our DIY Flaxseed Gel, which I showed y'all how to make earlier in this video which costs a dollar and 35 cents to make a batch and as you can see i still had a little bit left over so overall i think that the products that i chose were honestly pretty decent i think the shampoo gave me a great cleanse i would honestly use this again this has been a staple of mine for years so i definitely will use this again this has also been a staple for me and this is my first time trying the flaxseed gel and honestly i'm gonna see how it holds up i'm not sure how long the hold is gonna last but so far I really, really like this. I just hated how difficult this was to apply to my hair. Like, it kept falling off my hair. So, I think you just have to practice with this. But, it's super cheap. So, I would go for it. And in total, that is $24.80. And the thing is, with these products, because they honestly are decent sizes, especially the flaxseed gel. You can buy a whole pack of, of flaxseeds and make, like, 10 batches of this. Um, these products, you really would need to re-up on them max four times a year. And so if you did the maximum four times a year, that's about $100 you would be spending a year on hair products. And that's less than going and getting knotless braids or nowadays going and getting a silk press or getting a frontal install. It's less expensive than getting your hair done once. Now, do I still want to invest in higher quality products, products that are a little bit more expensive but have certain in ingredients that I like, work a little bit better, and blase, blase, blase? Yes. And let me just clarify something so I don't sound like a hypocrite. My products, including the ones that are coming out later this year, 
are more expensive than these products. They are in the lower mid tier of hair care and they're priced that way for a reason i use high quality products also all the expenses that go into making products not just in ingredients i need to be able to profit from my business so i can continue putting out products and continue you know paying my bills but i don't think they're like scammy prices or anything like that but i think you can do both i think you can have decent products that are lower price and i think you can have great products that are a little bit more pricier it's just really up to you but i do know that everybody cannot afford the super expensive hair products especially the ones i've been reviewing lately so i just wanted to give you a video that could kind of give you some versatility as far as like what your budget is i hope this video helped you out i hope you enjoyed this video this was actually really fun for me to make this is probably one of the funnest videos i think i made in a while so let me know if you want me to do more videos like this maybe i can do like a 20 dollar wash and go or like I don't know, $50 wash day routine for somebody that wants to maybe spend a little bit more but not do too much. Y'all just kind of let me know. Also, continue to comment any hair care lines you want me to try. Donna's recipe is coming next week, and then the week after that will be For You by um, Tia Mowry. So just stay tuned for those. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content and check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting some products to help promote growth. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!